An empty Walmart on the north side has a new purpose. Northeast ISD has transformed the big box store off Nacogdoches into the district's new Institute of Cybersecurity and Innovation. Eyewitness News reporter Jordan Foster gives us a peek inside. The NEISD Institute of Cybersecurity and Innovation is officially open. My first thought was, this is so cool, it's like a little FBI center. Leila Tiarina is just one of 170 Northeast Independent School District freshmen to learn in this brand new $5 million facility. NEISD students here get hands-on cybersecurity and networking experience. You can talk about concepts and you can cover concepts and you can prepare a student to take a test. But uh, here at ICSI, we have students go in and actually create networking topologies. Josh Beck has been a cybersecurity instructor for years, but this will be his first time teaching in a classroom this advanced using real time threat data. These lines and some of the activity you see behind me here, they may or may not be, you know, legitimate threats moving from one point in the world to another. And, you know, in the third year class, we do train students to work with software like this to be able to identify threats and make those decisions. And with technology evolving as quickly as it is, there's a demand for cybersecurity jobs, but not enough people to fill them. We see these stories about data breaches and, you know, these, these types of things really affect everyone. And so we need as many skilled individuals in the workforce as possible. That's my main goal, really. It's to help people and, you know, keep the world safe. So far, only about one third of the building is finished, but the district says big plans are in place for this growing technology program. After four years, you know, we'll need more classroom space and uh, we're also looking forward to a state of the art competition arena in the future as well. Oh, it's so important. It's really important, especially with all of the COVID right now and all we have is technology. It's important for cybersecurity and to keep everything secure. Jordan Foster, Kins 5 Eyewitness News.